The second part opens with Miranda when she is forced to tell Nora everything, and if Antonio is her real father or not. Miranda starts telling the story in 1940, the days of the Second World War. At that time, Italy was one of the countries that suffer because of the war. And that is why Antonio and Natori had to travel and did their circus shows all over the world. At this time, Nora's mother Stella and Miranda were left alone. And that's why they learned to read tarot and lived from the money of the tarot reading. Over time, the situation in the country becomes more difficult, as Antonio and Natori were imprisoned in Paris. They couldn't find a job, and they were forced to stay with their friends, Saf and Tina, who traveled with them from Rome during the same period. At the same time, Saf and Tina were working in a famous place, and they made shows there. But one day, Antonio received a letter from Stella, saying that she was pregnant, and she couldn't find any money to spend. Because of the difficult circumstances, Antonio was forced to do anything in order to get her money. He lied to Tina and Saf, saying that the police knew that they were Jews, and were coming to arrest them now. Then, they believed and escaped from the country. And thus, Antonio's plan succeeds. On top of that, he managed to convince the employer to let him and Ettore work instead of Tina and Saf. After a while, Stella got very tired and lost the baby. As soon as Antonio knew this about the letters, he quickly returned to Italy. He thinks that he would settle in Rome instead of traveling a lot. And he would also open their own amusement park, as he had seen in America before. So, he proposed to Ettore the idea, and Ettore refused because they didn't have enough money. But Antonio insisted on his opinion. He then suggested that each of their friends be responsible for one game, and the one who will make it, will also the one who will run it. After that, most of their friends was convinced and agree. But after a while, the conditions in the country become more difficult, Antonio and Ettore were forced to travel again. During this period, Stella knew that she was pregnant again, and she kept sending her news to Antonio constantly. But one day, Antonio knew that Tina and her son returned to Rome. Tina said that the day they escaped from Paris, the police caught them on the road, and killed her husband Saf. That is why she decided to return with the child, and continue their lives here. A few months later, Stella got very tired and lost the baby for the second time. But this time her condition got very bad, especially when Antonio's answers was interrupted, and she suspected that he died. However, she wrote him letters constantly. And one day, when Miranda opens one of these letters, she finds that Stella was lying to her husband, telling him that she was born. Stella broke down, saying that she was afraid of his shock. And that's why she lied. Miranda sympathized with her and forgave her. After that, she tried her best to make her daughter Stella fine, but she failed. One day, Miranda and her daughter heard the sound of guns firing around them, so they hide at a faraway house. And they notice from the window of the house that there is a baby locked up alone in the apartment, so Stella feels pity for her, and rushes to break the door. Miranda sees that they must wait for her mother to come, but Stella refuses. She says that if her mother cared about her, she wouldn't leave her like this, and decided to take the baby to raise her. On their way out, Miranda sees a tall man holding a stick and a toy goes into the house, and she thinks that he was guarding the baby, but because of his weird look, she worried about the baby from him, and decided to go before he sees the baby with them. Miranda kept searching in the newspapers for any family that had lost their daughter, because they intended to return the baby to her family if they knew who they are. One day, Miranda reads about the Gabrielli family, who are offering a very large reward for anyone who finds their baby. But when she sees her daughter happy with the baby, she cuts off the news, and refuses to tell her daughter about this family. Since Stella didn't see the announcement, she guesses that the baby's mother is the one who left her. And this is why she decides to raise the baby, and tries to compensate her for his mother's absence. From that day on, they call her Nora. After a while, Antonio back to send letters again. He says that they are currently in America and they are happy, so Stella decides to take the baby and travel to him. But Miranda refuses to travel with them, and stays at home alone. Then Stella convinces her husband that this is their daughter. And because she becomes so close to the baby, she decides to tattoo her over the birthmark to hide it, so that her real family won't recognize her. After that, they lived a happy life in America for several years. One day, the amusement park where they work were destroyed, so Antonio decides to take his family and return to Rome. But Ettore refuses to return with them, 
and decides to continue his life in America. In Rome, they built the amusement park they dreamed of, and all their friends shared with them. But after a few years, Stella gets tired and dies. Since that time, Nora lives with Antonio and Miranda in the amusement park. And Antonio still believes that she is his real daughter. Nora remembers her childhood, and because of her happy memories and they treat her good, she decides to forgive them for everything they did. Especially, that she doesn't know who is her real family, and is her family really got rid of her, or she got lost. The next day, Nora is surprised that her sister Rosa came to visit her in the village. She wants to talk to Nora, and convinces her to go home, and to tell their family the truth. But Nora refuses, and says that the only person she cares about now is her father Antonio, and she doesn't want to lose him. She tells Rosa about her grandmother's words, and that she wasn't lost, but she was locked up. But on that day, there was a tall man with a stick watching her. Rosa shocks and thinks that something is missing, and they still don't know. To convince Nora to go back with her, she tells her that Simone likes her. And this is the first time he fell in love with someone. But Nora keeps refusing in order not to lose her father no matter what. And tells Rosa that she doesn't want to see them again, even Simone. After many discussions, Rosa fails to convince her. And she takes her bag and leaves. After a while, Antonio notices that the prototype of the journey game disappeared. He keeps looking for it in the place, but doesn't find it. Ettore then tells him that he took it and gave it to a large factory to design it. But Antonio figures out that Ettore made a deal with the Grotta brothers. And from this money, he pays the factory. Antonio then blames his brother for what he did, and they keep fighting until Ettore feels guilty, and says that he made a mistake when he sold the land to their cousins without Antonio's permission. Because of this, Ettore tries to fix his mistake by buying the loved game to his brother. So, Antonio forgives him, they then reconcile and returns as they were. Meanwhile, Simone goes to his brother Matteo at the newspaper, and he asks for the third time to take him to the darkroom. Matteo hesitates a lot, but then he agrees to take him there. And by magnifying the pictures, Simone sees the young Joya, raising her hand and seeking for help. So, he finds out that Sandro did something to her. But he doesn't tell his brother the truth of what he saw, and quickly leaves the place. Gigi is busy preparing the new program. And one day, Sandro goes to visit him in the studio, after they met more than once and became friends. Sandro takes the chance and tells him about the day his movie was shown. He tells Gigi that he was very drunk that day, and wants to know what he told them exactly. But Gigi reassures him that he didn't say anything, and that they were all drunk. And not paying attention to what he said, so Sandro believes him. After that, the four young men gather to play tennis as usual, and Gigi tells them what happened with Sandro. Matteo takes the chance and asks his brother Simone what exactly he saw in the pictures, which made Simone so nervous and refuses to tell him anything. But Matteo knows his brother very well, so he is sure that he is hiding something from them. Rosa then tells them about what happened with Nora, and that she doesn't want to see them again. Simone gets upset because he started to love Nora, and leaves without finishing their conversation. After a while, Rosa waits for Gigi to come home to talk to him. Even though he's coming back drunk, she insists on talking to him, and telling him the truth about what happened with Nora, and that she's their sister. She continues saying that Nora also searched through pictures of them when they were children, and found a picture of them next to a man, with the same specifications as what Nora said. But despite everything she told him, Gigi doesn't believe her, and thinks that this is nothing more than her impact by the loss of her sister. The next day, while Nora working in the amusement park, she is surprised when Simone comes for her to talk, and asks her why she is avoiding him. Nora tells him about what she discovered, and says that she won't be able to reveal the truth because she is worried for Antonio. Simone then asks her to come with him to his house, specifically, his father's office where he hides the pictures, and tells Nora about what he saw in the pictures about killing Joya, and that he doesn't know what to do. After a lot of thinking, they decide to go to the police station, and throw the photos away. And he says if Sandro knows that it is they who tell the police, he won't let them escape. Also, maybe the intelligence services will fabricate the accusation against them. At this time, Manila hears them from the recording device that he put in the office. And because Manila is an intelligence agent and is also involved in the crime, decides to call the director to inform her of what happened. Then tells her that their crime is discovered, 
and they must find a solution as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Miranda stays awake in her room, praying and talking to her daughter Stella. And because of her spiritual strength, she knows that there is negative energy in the place. This energy is caused by a spirit trapped in the place, and wants to get out. Miranda becomes terrified. She doesn't know who this spirit is, and how it came here. The next day, she tells Antonio what happened. But he underestimates her words, and thinks that she is getting old and demented. After a while, Manila goes to meet Tolio to say he wants to take revenge on Simone after what he did, and asks Tolio to find a way to bring Simone to him. Although Tolio doesn't understand why he wants this, he agrees to do so. As soon as Tolio returns home, he finds Rosa standing waiting for him, and she gives him the picture that she found yesterday, then asks him about the man who was with them. But Lucia enters and says that he is Alvio. He was an old friend of Tolio and traveled a long time ago to Italy. At this time, Tolio gets so nervous that he leaves them to keep talking and enters his office. Meanwhile, Antonio goes to check on his daughter in her room, but notices that there is something that stresses her and she doesn't know to take a decision. He talks to her without knowing what is happening, and advises her to do what makes her comfortable no matter what is. As a result of his words, Nora decides to go to visit Gabrielli's family in their home, and tells them the truth. At the same time, the date of the first episode of Giggy's program is shown, and the whole family gathers in front of the TV to watch it. As for Simone and Matteo, they are in the studio to support their friend. But before the start of the episode, they are surprised that the director chose Sandro to be the guest of the episode to increase the number of views. Simone tries to deal with him normally, despite he is afraid of him after knowing that he is a murderer. Then he watches the episode like the rest of the audience in the studio, and waits for the police to enter at any time to arrest Sandro after the photos he presented to the police station. During the presentation of the episode, Nora arrives at the house of the Gabrielli's family, and without any introduction, she stands in front of them, then tells them that she is their daughter, who was lost for a long time. And for proving her words, she shows them the tattoo above the birthmark. Lucia is so affected and starts crying, but Tolio says that Nora is just a fraud, and he doesn't believe her. Nora decides to tell them the story she knew about, and begs them not to tell Antonio about this. But Tolio is sure that his daughter died, so he doesn't even wait to hear her story and left them. Nora goes after him quickly, but doesn't catch him. Tolio decides to go to the amusement park by himself, and there he asks about Antonio. As soon as he sees him, he begins to beat him with extreme brutality, and tells him to take his fraud daughter away from his family now. Antonio gets shocked not understanding what he is talking about. At this time, Nora arrives and tries to stop the fight. But Tolio tells what happened in front of all the amusement park workers and Antonio. Then, the amusement park workers started beating Tolio. Antonio is so shocked and refuses to talk to anyone, and go back to his room. They keep knocking on his door for hours, but he refuses to talk to anyone. And he keeps breaking things in the room with extreme anger. Meanwhile, Lucia is arguing with her daughter Rosa, blaming her for knowing the truth for a while, and hiding it from them. But Rosa explains why she did that, and says that Nora is the one who asked to do so. And during their fight, Giggy returns home excited. He then asks them about their opinion of the program. But he is shocked when he sees his mother crying, so he understands that something is wrong happened. On the next day, the young men gather at Rosa's house, and she tells them in detail about everything that happened with Nora from the beginning. But Matteo gets upset, because she hid an important thing like this from him despite their relationship. He then leaves the house, and Simone goes after him in order to calm him. But Matteo is so upset that he refuses to discuss it, and leaves him. Simone is surprised when Tolio comes to warn him, that there are people looking for him and want to kill him. And Tolio advises him to find a safe place to stay in it. Because if these people find him, they will not leave him until he dies. And although he doesn't understand what Simone did exactly, he asks him if any of his children are involved with him in this crime. Simone reassures him that he and Nora who are involved in this only. Tolio suggests that he hide in the amusement park, because it is a weird place, and no one will guess that he is there. At the same time, Rosa and her brother Giggy are sitting in the room with their mother, who is still in shock since what she knew and unable to move. But Rosa says she suspects that her father knows something, and is hiding it from them. Especially, after her mother talked about Alvio, 
her father got nervous, and they decide to talk to him honestly when he comes home. At this time, Simone arrives at the amusement park, and Nora agrees to make him stay with them, especially when she knows that he was in danger. But despite her grandmother's rejecting the idea, she sympathizes with him and also agrees to stay him there. Meanwhile, Schleyas knows that Simone is here, and he feels there is a relationship between Simone and Nora. Schleyas gets upset and goes to fight Simone, and they hit each other. Then we see Tolio is going to meet his friend the detective. He asks him to find anything about Nora and her family, so Tolio can prove to his family that Nora is a liar. And now, we know that Tolio has been hiding a big secret for a long time. He knows very well that his daughter died as a baby, but he can't tell his family the truth. Then he goes to meet Manila. Tolio lies and says that Simone disappeared, and he can't find him. Manila directs his words to Tolio, and threatens him that if he doesn't find Simone as soon as possible, he will harm him. Then we know that Tolio killed his friend a long time ago. And at that time, Manila was able to hide his crime as he works in intelligence. But then he forced Tolio to work with him in intelligence and help him. Meanwhile, Sandro arrives at the Gabrielli family's house to take Gigi, so they can watch the filming of his new movie. Rosa worries about her brother, especially after they are sure that Sandro is a criminal. But Gigi doesn't listen to her, and says that he is lonely, and no one cares about him from one day he was born. Gigi decides to go out with Sandro, and have fun away from his family. While filming the scene, Gigi notices Sandro's violent behavior, especially with the girl he is filming with, and feels that he is a cruel person, contrary to what he looks like. He then believes that Simone was right, and that Sandro is really a murderer. A few hours later, Tolio arrives at home, and during lunch, Lucia says that she wants to visit Nora and talk to her. But Tolio refuses and orders them not to talk about this matter again, until his friend the investigator finds out who are these people, and knows what their story is. As for Manila, he goes to the Grutta brothers, and gives them a picture of Simone, so that they can search for him and kill him as soon as possible, before he exposes them. At midnight, Miranda feels the same spirit that she felt before, and she keeps following her feelings, until she reaches a garden behind the amusement park. There, she notes an arm of a buried body. Miranda gets terrified and runs away, then she goes to wake up Atori to ask him about this body. Atori confesses everything, and says that the Grutta brothers tricked him. And after many discussions, Atori promises her that he will talk to them to find a solution to this issue, without Antonio's knowledge. At this time, the investigator discovers that Antonio's family is respectable. He informs Tolio about everything he knew, and says that this means Nora may be really their daughter. Then, he insists that his daughter had already died a long time ago, but he doesn't say how he knew of her death. After that, the investigator begins to worry, and suspects Tolio himself. The next day, the friends meet in a place far from their homes, and are very worried about Simone, especially after they knew that the intelligence is protecting Sandro, and is hiding his crimes. But Gigi reassures them that he has a solution, and asks Simone to take care of himself till he can settle things. After a while, the time for Gigi's episode comes, and he takes advantage of his program to show pictures of Sandro, killing Joya in front of all the people. Then the producer intervenes and stops filming. But the news has already spread, and Sandro's crime has been exposed in front of all people. Gigi reveals what he wants, and forces the government to prove the accusation against Sandro and imprison him. Meanwhile, Atori goes to face the Grutta brothers about the body he saw, and says that Miranda knew about everything. And if they don't get rid of this body now, she will report on them. The Grutta brothers become very nervous, and suspect that Atori is the one who told her. Then, they threatened him that they won't let him get away with what he did. At this time, Lucia is getting ready and decides to go see Nora in the amusement park. And the weird thing is that Miranda welcomes her with pleasure. She even made her watch a videotape, which makes Lucia sure when the birthmark appeared in the video, that Nora is really her daughter. And before she goes to talk to her daughter, Tolio arrives and came specially to warn her of these people. But for the first time, Lucia refuses to believe him, and insisted she wants to know the truth by herself. Meanwhile, Simone is standing talking to Antonio. But Antonio is still shocked since he knows the truth, and he hasn't spoken to any of them to this day. Simone then convinces him that Nora had nothing to do with what happened, 
and that she is a victim exactly like him. Antonio is convinced and goes to reconcile with her, but he refuses to listen to her, and insists to hear the whole story from Miranda. After that, Nora goes to thank Simone for what he did, and while they are standing talking, the Gruta brothers see them. They find out that Simone is the young man and they run quickly to catch him. But because of their bad reputation, Nora realizes that they are coming to kill him. She then grabs Simone's hand to escape and the brothers keep chasing them, until Nora had an idea. She decides to take Simone to hide in one of the amusement parks, but the Gruta brothers saw them. Within a few minutes, they try to destroy the game that Nora and Simone will ride. And they intend to do so, to get rid of Simone, and no one will discover what they have done. And by that, the first season of the series ends. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video.